So this tip involves attaching a slicer to more than one pivot table. We're going to start with constructing a pivot table, selecting a data point, going to insert pivot table on the existing worksheet in that location, and just creating a quick pivot table, gross price by salesperson. Selecting that pivot table and copying it a different way than we have in some of the other tips, holding down the control key, left clicking the edge till I get that plus sign and dragging down, I now have a copy of that pivot table. When I do this, I drive the creation of both of these pivot tables off of the same cache file that's referencing the data. So I don't create another cache file. And when I do that, I have the option to attach the slicer to both of the pivot tables. So we're going to first insert a slicer by going to the Analyze tab, Insert Slicer, and I'm going to check the date field to input a date slicer, even though that field isn't on either one of the pivot tables, which is not a problem. You can do that. With the slicer selected, I'm going to go to Report Connections and check that box for the pivot table that was actually the first pivot table I made. It was not the one that was selected or the active pivot table when I created the slicer. And after having done that, I've connected this slicer to both of those pivot tables. I'm going to pull up the field list again and make some dramatic changes in these pivot tables so we can see that they are obviously different from one another. But the slicer will affect, but the slicer or the filter is really what it is, will affect the transactions that will be included in both of the pivot tables at the same time. 